How's it going, Ding Dongs? So you can see him driving through some fields in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if you guys remember Andy from uh, way back, from like the summer. This is the only one that's sick, right? So we're going, I don't know where actually I am or where we're going or what this place is, but he's working on his Bronco today. So we're gonna go uh, see if we can give him a little hand. All right, I made it. This is Andy's buddy's shop. We're throwing some fiberglass over fenders on it. And my job is speakers. So, got some room back here. There's a speaker in here. And we might make a box down here. But it doesn't want to drill holes in the doors to put speakers in the doors. So, I'm going to try to fit three in between here, one in here, and one in here. So, I'm going to get to measuring and see what fits in here because this just slides out. See that? And then you got a little cavity in here. So, here it looks like you could put a nice six inch sub in here. And then a uh, couple, maybe four and a half or whatever. So we'll see how that looks. All right, I'm gonna measure some stuff. I did some measuring. Here's the plan. We're gonna do five inch. So I got five by four inches here deep. So we're gonna do five inch with a tweeter, and then a six inch. Hopefully, I can find a flatter one. If not, it will be a four by six because those come flat down here and then a four inch round one here so I think that'll be enough and then this is just a regular five by quarter look at this ancient thing it's probably like 60 years old and then uh, I found a, a radio that looks exactly like this one it has Bluetooth and satellite radio and all that shit so it's pretty awesome that they make one specific for this car that's all I'm doing today I guess I'll go help them mount the fenders this dude's got some sick cars in here this truck is badass it has a 454 in it see that Hard to tell, but yeah. 454 in there. Convertible Corvette. This is a GTO. Things a GTO. You get this old truck here too. These are so cool, dude. Look at this. Freaking badass, man. So cool. Yeah, this is a GTO. Oh no, that's a Camaro. Wait, is it? I don't fucking know shit about American cars. Yeah, dude. This is goals right here. <gasps> there's a cat here? No, oh, there's a kitty. What? What the heck? I didn't even notice. Kitty? Oh, oh stretches. I don't really like cats that much, I have two of them. Back at the Bronco, so got the whole sound system ordered. Got five speakers, one going in the dash, and two going in those panels right there. It's gonna be pretty good and loud, I think. Andy ordered this sweet radio and matches the original one. Radio face looks exactly the same as the original one. Look at that, that's badass, and this one's got. Like Bluetooth, USB, everything. So it's a huge upgrade and it looks completely original. So you don't have to have that big 
Right now he's got that big block underneath that actually is the radio, so yeah, not cool. But now my job is to install it all. So let's get started. First of all, got to remove this big old hunk of shit. So that's gonna come out, and I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to re reuse the wiring for it. Connected? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn the key, see if this works. Nope, that's the starter. Oh, it works. Look at that. And it's got changing colors. That's awesome, it works. That was easy. All right, now on to the amp. So put this on top now. Yeah, so it'll look exactly the same as you did. So now I gotta install this and then put the amp in, which is right here, and then run the wires and we'll be good to go. Alright, after about two hours of fucking around, got the radio installed. This thing's sweet because it looks completely the same as the old one, but it's got Bluetooth and AM, FM, and you could auxiliary and USB, everything. It's pretty badass and it just plugs right in and it already works. So next up, I gotta start wiring the amp right here. So that's up next. There's no, we don't have any power cables for it though. So it's just gonna be the wiring for the speakers that I'm gonna run right now. And then Andy's gonna cut holes in these that are gonna go right back here for the speakers. Oh, I can just install one of the speakers there right now. So, yeah. I'm doing. Dude, that's one speaker right here. Dude, this radio is dope. It's running on Bluetooth right now. Look at that. I wonder if you can change songs. Oh my god, you can change songs through Bluetooth. That's incredible. That's awesome. That's so cool. Alright. So this is just running, just hooked up with some shitty wire right now. We don't have any thick wire and no fuses, so... And then the... Uh, what do you call it? The... Remote wire is just the 12 volt bridge. Hey, I got one speaker hooked up. Andy's cutting the holes for the other speakers now. So we're going to get those mounted, run the wires, and it's going to be done. Good, by the way this absolutely terrible installing that absolutely terrible you know when people say old cars are nice to work on no they're lying they suck all right everything's hooked up uh andy's just got asked to he's gonna make little sheet metal things he's gonna make little sheet metal brackets right here to house those speakers in the tweeters but look at that radio's on all the speakers are on it sounds freaking awesome so yeah this is gonna be dope. Andy, what do you think? You like it? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Minor details. Right? Yeah. And then we're gonna film it again in Michigan? With the drone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be sweet. Alright, let's just clean up. We're good. I forgot to film an outro for this one, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for buying the corner lights. That means a lot to me and it really helps out for you know buying parts and stuff so thanks again for all the support also next video we're pulling the engine for this guy well not this engine but we're pulling tyler's engine make sure you're subscribed because only 20 something percent of my views are actually subscribed so 
Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming content because it's going to be wild. Yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for buying the corner lights. Uh, I got more actually coming, so go follow Strudermate on Instagram if you want to see all the updates on all new 3D printed products that I'll be selling and stuff. So, yeah, ding dongs. All right, see you guys next week. Do you have your passport?